Hi, in this video we are going to introduce how you can add and remove elements from an array. So we'll start by making an empty array and the way we do that is we say var arr equals open close square brackets. So that means we have an array that has zero items in it. Now we'll add an item to our array and we do that with a method called push. And so push takes as a parameter the item that you want to add to the array. So as you can see in the picture below, now you have at index 0, element 5. We can add another element with arr.push12, and now you can see in our list we have 5 and 12. So push, what the push method is doing, is adding an element to the end of our list. So if we push 9, now we have 5, 12, 9 in our list. So we can just keep adding elements all day, it's super fun, and sometimes what you might want to do is remove from your array, and we have a method called pop, which takes no parameters, that removes the last element from the array. So we're going to X out, we're going to remove that 9 from the array, and put it in that variable called last. So let's go into our code editor and, and play with this code. Okay. We'll start by making an empty array. And now, let's say arr.push5. Great. Now if we print line arr of 0, we can see there's something there. Okay. If we print line arr of 1, we'll see there's nothing there. It's undefined. So arr.push12. Okay. And then we'll push you know, one, and we'll push a hundred, a thousand, and we'll push um, three, okay? So nothing, we don't see anything happen, but we've, our list is now bigger. Um, and let's see, let's print out, let's print out ARR of, uh, how about four? So that will be the last item in the list because there's five elements in the list now. And now, let's see, we'll say var last equals ar.pop. And so now, what should be in last? Well, we'll see, it should be three because we just removed it from the list. Additionally, now if we print line ar of four, we'll see there's nothing there anymore. Okay, so this, so push, push lets you add to the array and pop removes the last element. 